What's going on, everybody? Hey, right, gonna empty this bag, pick up his Google bins. Don't remember what's in it, of course. You know, you buy too much stuff when you don't remember what you bought. So, SIUE Cougars. That's a college not too far from here in Edwardsville. Alright, well, we got the starter. That's just a lighter blue and darker blue starter jacket. Size XL. What I find very funny is a lot of this is a lot of this Ben stuff. When you pick it up, they come from the standalone Google stores, right? And they'll have tags on them, like that starter jacket had five dollar tag on it. But that's reasonable, I guess, considering. But you'll see like some shirts they'll sit there and put like ten bucks on, and they keep raising their price of shirts. When their shirts were two bucks, I was buying constantly shirts from their standalone stores. Uh, they're up to like four bucks now for a t-shirt but that's why you get so much good stuff over at the bins because they way overprice everything at the standalones i mean they get people who just don't know what the hell they're doing at these standalones and everything's way overpriced so what i don't understand is why they would jeopardize sales within the stores when they're just going to send the shit to the bins and they're going to get you know, sell it for 50 cents. So it makes no sense to me why they don't lower their prices in the standalone stores and why they keep going beyond their, even their standard price, like $4 for shirts, sure, you'll get a shirt with $10 price tag on it, or you'll get a, you know, coats or, I don't even know what coats are normally over there, but you'll see tags with like 20 bucks on it, 15 bucks on it. And I'll get them for 50 cents at the Goodwill outlet because they're overpricing them at the store. So not the smartest people in the world running uh, Goodwill. Let's just say that. <laughs> but it is what it is. Norman Todd Classic. Just a normal jacket with $5 on it, you know. Don't know. Don't know. I don't even know if I can get $5 for that jacket. Cardinal shirt. I think I got one of these up in the store already. Let's see what we got here. Arsenal. That's a, a soccer team, right? Yeah. A football. Football team. Not a soccer. It's a football. That's a Nike jacket, too. So I just got to get those dirt, that dirt out of it. That should be a decent jacket right there if the zipper works. Where is it? I have the hardest time trying to zip up clothes that are not on my body. But that one went pretty easily. So that's pretty good right there. That's a pretty good school right there. Oh, this is some of the stuff that you'll you saw in the one video. I didn't even check to see if they ended up tagging the background music in that video or not. So it's a trend basics 3XL sweater. That's kind of cool though. Hopefully this has that t-shirt in it, the train shirt. So another Cardinals. That's where I get all the Cardinals crap for next to nothing. Yeah, this was cool. You saw that one on the video. Kim Moore Air. I like that. I like it a lot. Right, what do we got? Huh, you saw me throw that one over my shoulder too. They, uh, Bayou Sports. Just had the classic look. That's why I grabbed it. All right. Uh, you saw me throw that one over to St. Patrick's Day. That's funny as hell. I think you saw that one too. That looked like a vintage one. That's why I grabbed it. 
pre-shrunk large. That's that's like a youth large though. Yeah, here we go. Here's the one I was excited about. That's kick ass. Love that. 2XL. Very nice. I am happy. I am happy with that one. This one's cut up. Justin Moore. God bless outlaws like me. So I'm gonna pull their shirt. Just want to cut the sleeves off of it, but it'll still sell. This one, I didn't know what it was. That's why I grabbed it. You saw that on the video. My Bach, 2005. Rock out with your Bach out. Let's look this up. I guess I'll go grab another one. We'll do two on this video since this one was so short. B-O-C-K. My Spell it right, James. I don't know. It's a beer, maybe? No. I don't know. Take out that 205 again, see what one thing's coming up is like a looks like a beer. Maybe it is a beer. Brewing company. But it doesn't look the same. Rock out. No, I'll have to figure that one out. Shoved all that into a nice pink Reebok tote. Let me go grab another thing. All right, some of the stuff in this one might be some stuff Jan picked up. She went over there with me, so she was grabbing stuff because she grabbed that and she goes, I got this for you. <laughs> What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? That is funny. Cookie. That is funny. I'll have to put that someplace. Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear. That's cool. I wonder what those are going for. Come here, kitty, kitty. Hello Kitty. Purple Build-A-Bear. old There's a little one this is bigger one here's one similar 550 oh, but that one went for 10 I can live with 10 I can live with 10 for a 50 cent investment if they had it, like this one's got a bow on her head, and it sold for 26 Or a flower, a tie-dye flower. Ah, there's a piece of Velcro there, so you could stick a accessory on that. Hell, oh, maybe I need to, maybe I can just look, see if I can find that accessory on eBay for a couple bucks. Put it on her and get 15 more dollars out of her. That one, yeah, best offer after 30 so... 25 maybe not bad may just have to do that uh i guess jan grabbed this because it had tags so i tell her when she sees stuffed animals especially with tags grab them probably nothing major here though but that's fine when i tell her that, i don't want to discourage her and say this was a bad pickup then she'll start questioning what to pick up and then when you do that, you might pass up. So she might pass up something good. So I don't want to say, and the one you picked up was bad. So because I don't want her to question herself, just still pick them up new with tags. Because nine times out of ten, they're going to be decent. So sure. Yeah. yeah, I tell her all John Deere stuff. So she got a nice little John Deere tractor. Actually, pretty cool. Nemo Grain Ethanol, Macon, Missouri. Snapback. Skills, Gear Passion Sports. Whatever that is. New Era Cardinals. Yeah, I'll put those over here. Yeah, that's a 
classic Nautica. I love it. Wouldn't wear it, but I love it. Not really my thing. That's gotta be at least 20 bucks, right? I remember grabbing that. Dare shirt. Dare. Oh yeah. Metallica. Now that we're dead. Uh, from 2017 World Tour. Pretty cool. Metallica. Yeah, I know Metallica. I'm making a joke. Metallica. The Land Institute. It's older. Whatever it stands for. It's a plain blue denim. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Your hero Taco Bell. It's a jogging, just no name jogging cap. I don't know who that team is. American League. I don't watch baseball. Baseball is boring to me. It's boring to me. If it ain't blues hockey, I'm not watching it. <laughs> I don't have time to get into sports, except my team. That's the only team I will stop and watch. Is the Blues, Royal Caribbean. I always know that cruise ship stuff does well. Sold that cruise ship, small cruise ship for 50 bucks. That was cool. Cool beans, bro. Five, six, two, whatever that's gonna stand for. I don't know. Golf hat. I think I got enough hats. What am I trying to do with all these hats? What I did, thirty-one hundred dollars a month last month in hats. By next June or July, I would like to be. $5,000 a month in hats. That would be. I think that could be obtainable with the amount of hats I'm sitting on that have not got listed yet. Pillsbury Doughboy. Can you just imagine some cardinal signatures? Number 12, number 75. I'll have to look it up to see who they are. If they are anybody. Nibco. I know I should just, I've been thinking more about just getting somebody to help me with pictures. Jan's actually come in and started helping me with pictures. I gave her the task. I showed her how to do hats. And then lately she's been doing women's clothes. So I put women's clothes on a lower shelf for her over here as I showed in another video. So those are her two gigs right now. Whenever she wants to come in and take pictures, she's got the hats and the women's clothes. So that'll help out. This is old school. Got the whole fold down in it. That's cool. I like that. All righty. Some shoes. Those aren't bad shape. Way white though. Not bad at all. Nah, I hate it when I can't find the size. Oh, that sucks ass. Cause then I gotta guesstimate with the ruler. Hurley. Hurry, hurry. Titleist Pfizer. Oh, it's greatest grandpa vintage style. Here's the camo, camo cardinals. Whoops. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Miller's paint and wallpaper. Bud Light. I should stop buying Bud Light hats. They're not selling. <laughs> what the hell was that? 
I wonder if something fell out there. Uh, brownie. You go over there. <laughs> That's interesting. That's a kid, at least. Huh? That's funny. Oh, this is cool. I remember finding this. Or didn't find it, but I saw it because that was when the friend, my friend called me over to give me hats. That's a cool one. I like that. That one might get rushed to the top of the line. Titles. Galaxy. Samsung Galaxy. That's cool. That works. Caramels. Dobbs. Dobbs Auto and Tire. The Ripoff Specialist. I tried to go to that place twice in the past in my life. And uh, Dobbs Tire and Auto here. It's a local. They got tons of places around, but... The first night when I had my SUV, my Yukon XL, I took it in and the third tail light was out. And I'm like, I'll just take it up there and let them do it, deal with it because it was during inspection time or whatever. They called me on the phone and they're like, to give me the price. And they go, yeah, that'll be about $250. It was $250 something. I'm like, what? I was, I, then I, as I was on the phone with them, I Googled it all. I'm like, it's two screws. Or I go, he goes, or I asked him, why the, Why is it $250? He goes, well, it's a lot of little light bulbs. Like, okay, so I Googled it. And it was two screws and a unit I could buy for 50 bucks. Myself for 50 bucks. Not even at what they're going to probably get it cheaper. So I, I'm like, you do realize that the unit, I can buy it right now for 50 bucks online and it takes two screws to unhook it. Why are you charging me 50 bucks for the item and $200 in labor charges. And uh, he said, oh, I'll get back to you. And he called me back and it was $75. I'm like, Shh. And then one time I had, uh, I got a nail in the vet tire. And I, I, I was friends with a guy who ran a tire place where I bought all my custom tires. So I know, you know, if the toe's on the outside, you're going to want to replace the tire. But it was like probably about an inch and a half to two inches in from the wall. And they're like, oh, we got to get you a new tire. I'm like, no, you don't. Yeah, it's too close to the wall. And I'm like, no, no, you don't. So I drove it to my friend's place and he plugged it for eight bucks. So that's why I don't do Dobbs and I don't push Dobbs. They're just ripoff artists. That's how they do their business. But, oh, Vera Bradley. That's cool. Cool beans. Anyway, if you're in St. Louis and watching this, there's a little story for you. Always uh, always do your homework if you're dealing with Dobbs. Because they will take advantage of you. Because that's, that's... I guess that's probably written in their letter or their employment uh, booklets for their employees. Rip off customers. <laughs> All right, I'm back to work. So that was a pretty lame video. Sorry. Now I know why my videos only get like 88 views. Because they're freaking lame. <laughs> Alright. Later, guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll have an eBay, hopefully, eBay way episode tomorrow, hopefully. So, so I think I've already made back my money, so I'll probably go out shopping for that. So, And then tonight I might do another episode of uh, searching eBay, whatever I called it. Not to, uh, eBay late night. And maybe we'll go through some stuff. And uh, see what's selling. See what they sell for. So, thanks everybody for watching. Later.